Hello fellow coffee botherers. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to descale your Sage or Breville Barista Pro espresso machine. So this is descaling. If you wanted to know how to run a cleaning cycle or back flush cycle, click here for that video. So the first thing you're probably asking is how often you should descale. And what I'd say is be led by your machine by that. So when you first installed your machine, you'll have been prompted to do a water hardness test with the water hardness testing strip that comes with the machines. And that'll tell you how often, or that'll tell you how hard your water is on a scale of one to four. And that will tell you, uh, that will tell the machine how often to prompt you. So if you've done that, presuming you have done that, you can just follow the prompts on the machine. It'll come up on the screen to tell you when you need to do a descale. Okay, so to start, we need a receptacle or jug, one of the big sort of wider mouth Pyrex jugs will do the trick, or I've got a two litre Geisha Classic water tank here, which happens to fit perfectly, but something like that will do. If you've got a filter in your water tank, remove the filter. So fill the water tank up. Now the instructions say to fill it to the descale line. I fill it to a couple of centimetres above the descale line simply because if you fill it to the descale line, it will prompt you to refill it while it's doing the first descale part of the uh, descaling. <laughs> if you know what I mean, it's got the descaling part and the rinsing part. And if you actually fill it to the descale line, it prompts you to refill it before the rinse cycle. It doesn't really matter. But if you fill it slightly above the descale line, you'll get through all of the descaling before it prompts you to refill the water tank for the rinsing part. Water tank on, filter removed. You want the filter removed. in place making sure that we're covering the steam wand, the water spout and the group and then we want to press the menu button, go to the scale, press the grand amount button and it will come up with D for the scale and then just press, you'll see the single cup button is illuminated, press that and it's started. So we've got D3 D for the scale, three for the, the first part, why it's gone three, two, one instead of one, two, three, I don't know, but D3 refers to the first part, which is running the descaling solution through the group. We'll do that for, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. And then we'll be prompted to change the steam and hot water dial to the hot water position. First, when it goes to D2, which I'll do in a sec. There you go, D2, it's saying hot water. So now you move this to the hot water position. And it'll run the solution through the water tap. change the D1 in a second, it'll prompt us to move this into the steam position to run the liquid through the steam wand. D1 steam. So we're running the cleaning solution, the scaling solution even through the steam wand now. So it's gone to R now for rinse. So you put this back into the middle. Now the instructions will tell you to empty this. Empty it if you've got a smaller jug, but if you've got a two litre jug, you won't have to empty it. I think the instructions also says to empty the drip tray. I'm not sure why, because nothing goes into the drip tray during the scaling, so you don't need to empty the drip tray. So I've emptied any of the remaining water from the water tank, is running a little bit, and rinsed it, put water, 
back in. I filled the water tank, so I'm not putting up to the scale line now. I've actually filled the water tank. And we just press the single cup button again. Now we're doing the entire process exactly the same again, but now it just says R for rinsing because we're just running fresh water through now to rinse the, uh, the scale solution. So just repeat, repeat the process. In R2 we turn it to water, in R1 we turn it to steam and then we're done. Hot water. Steam. And I was flushing water through the steam one. Beeps. Steam flashes, ground amount button illuminates, and then you just put that, put the water steam dial back into the middle, into the off position, and that's it, you're done. Back into ready mode, so now you just need to empty your container, your jug, empty, rinse your water tank. You don't need to do anything with your drip tray, it'll say empty the drip tray, but as I will demonstrate, there's nothing in the drip tray. As you see, the drip tray is bone dry. So don't worry about that. Simple. So there you go. That's how to descale your Sage or Breville Barista Pro. Thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to click the like button. Thanks. Clicking the like button may well help to reduce lime scale. And not clicking the like button is known to cause excessive flatulence and hay fever. If you've enjoyed this video, why not click here to watch another one? Don't forget to become an official coffee weatherer. You need to click this image around here somewhere of my face to subscribe. Tatty bye.